and make sure you stick around for the bonus footage at the end. Hey, have you ever wondered what the top five vans are to put a truck mount in? I'll tell you what, come on, take a ride with me and I'll show you. You know, it's important to know what the top five are. The reason being is you want to make sure that the truck has a strong enough payload, that it's large enough and maybe even tall enough because if you have nice narrow reels, you can really conserve a lot of space. And remember, space is a premium. Coming in at number five, we got the Mercedes Sprinter. Okay, according to the dealer printout right here, the Mercedes Sprinter comes in two different configurations, a 2500, a 3500, a standard height, and a tall boy. Let's take a look inside. Coming in at almost six feet tall, as you can see right here, and 144 inch wheelbase or 170 inch wheelbase, you can easily fit a truck mount in this thing. Okay, now according to the dealer printout here, the 23 and the 24s are available in standard or all wheel drive. You can now get it in gas, not just diesel, it's a 2.0 with turbo. And on top of it, however, remember, it does not come with a fuel tap. So there are some do-it-yourself videos online, but remember, you do it at your own risk. So if you want to travel in luxury, this might just be the model for you. However, remember, if you do that do-it-yourself fuel tap, it may void your warranty. Number four is the Dodge Ram ProMaster. You know, the ProMaster is very similar to the design of the Mercedes-Benz, being it's a Euro van. The advantage to this over the Mercedes is that you can use a fuel tap, so it accepts a truck mount really nicely, and that's very important to you if you're gonna pick one up. Now you notice this is a 3500, well it comes in a 2500 and a 1500, but I always recommend at least moving up a little bit to go ahead and carry the weight that's necessary in carrying a truck mount and all the water weight, of course. So at least go with a 2500, but I prefer a 3500. Like the Mercedes-Benz, look at the headroom, and this is just a medium. Imagine what the high boy does. So the advantage to this right here is you can really utilize all your space management. Well, that's the pros of the ProMaster. What are the cons? Let's talk about it. First disadvantage to it, I feel like it is a front wheel drive. So you are gonna go through a lot of suspension issues, brakes and stuff like that. And viewing on the forum and on the Facebook groups and on YouTube, I've noticed a lot of people when they're carrying the weight in these trucks right here, they have a tendency to go through transmissions. Usually at a later date, but still you wanna keep that in mind. On top of it, uh, they also have a quality control issue according to some owners, but some people love and swear by them, so it's up to you in the end. Number three is the Chevy Express. Here we are with the last of the dinosaurs, the last of the domestic vans, the Chevy Express. Chevy's been around and been a staple of the industry for many, many years. Just make sure, if you want to pick one of these up, that you want to make sure you get at least a 2500 or a 3500. I recommend the 3500. It just has better suspension, it has better features, it's just going to hold up, and you're not going to get that sagging or have to do some extra work to be able to carry that extra weight. So make sure you at least get a 2500. On top of what I like about these old vans right here is they're really made well compared to the Euro vans. However, these are going to be discontinued. They keep saying they're going to discontinue it, but they haven't done it yet, but it is coming. The cool thing is in the meantime, is you can still put direct drives in these. They're the only vehicles you can put a direct drive in as far as vans, because you can either put in a clean co, you can put in a butler, or you can put in a CDS. Just remember, you have to get this type of van and make sure you get a strong enough one, at least a 2500. So this van is fairly solidly built, as I mentioned earlier. However, remember that it only comes in one size. So you're gonna have a problem with space management issues. I noticed a lot of guys who picked up this van right here instead of an oversized van, they have a difficult time getting in there and servicing it. You're bent over, trying to get things, this is really difficult. Plus you can't carry a lot of extra items for diverse services. So I'm not a really big fan of this. However, it is, like I said, a staple of the industry and it will serve you well if that's what you want. Two points I would keep in mind if I was going to buy this vehicle, I would buy the biggest V8 they had and also the extended version. Number two is the unicorn, the Nissan Envy. Why do I call it a unicorn? Because it's no longer made. I really love this van a lot because it came in a 1500, a 2500, and a 3500 with plenty of power and plenty of payload in any of those to carry a truck mount. You know, I used to have a few Nissans in my fleet and we and all my technicians really loved them. Why was that? That's because they were such a smooth ride. They extended the front end out, gave you a lot of leg room, and it drove like a luxury truck. It also has a very strong engine, so we really love this truck. You know, there was only one con to the truck, 
it, it didn't come in an extended version. Yes, it did come in the high top. However, the biggest con now is it's not available because they no longer make it. Coming in as my number one pick is the Ford Transit. Let me show you the reasons why. Okay, first off, they come in a 150, a 250, or a 350 like this model right here. Hey, and just for reference sake, here is the medium height, and you notice my head is six feet tall, barely touches, still plenty of space. And talk about tall for any type of real system or any truck mount, six foot six guys can walk through this truck. You know, I've owned four of these twin turbo high tops and I've really enjoyed them. One of them is actually in my RV. Let me tell you something, they're very easy to get oil changes for, they're very inexpensive, and there's four dealerships everywhere. So the parts, the oil, everything's just very accessible. And that's really important because we all know downtime is a killer. Speaking about downtime, I've never had a breakdown with any of them, even the ones that I've installed for other people, they've been very happy with it. So this is why the Ford Transit comes in as my number one. Oh, and by the way, guess what? They do come with single wheels in the back, but you can also get it as a dually. Don't just take it from me, take it from industry pros and their reviews on our social media. Now you can find all those reviews and more on our Truck Mount Forums fan page on Facebook, also our Truck Mount Forums private page, which has over 20,000 cleaners sharing ideas. And last but not least, now you can find it on our new updated truckmountforums.com. We've completely upgraded the whole forum. It's easier to use, kind of similar to what social media is today. And also don't forget about our Instagram page. Plus, if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to all these, including our YouTube channel. And make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. I'm Rob Allen with Truck Mount Forums. Have yourself a great day.